So amyloid is well understood. I think it's well well established. It can be well standardized across the different tracers. It's it, there's reasonably good availability um, in in uh, across the globe. There's it will always be expensive because it's just you know it's a radioactive that it needs to be produced on a in a timely manner and then delivered um, in a personalized in a personalized dose to the subject and uh, injected and scanned. So it's quite a complicated process. So it will always be expensive and it's obviously invasive as it's um as it's uh it's radioactive. And I think the biggest question really is on how how it in an efficient way can be deployed alongside the blood based measurements to basically make the whole package most effective. Uh, in, in a screening funnel. I think there will have to be a, a role for amyloid PET, but if it if that can be reduced to the absolute minimum by leveraging the blood-based measurements to um to make most of the decisions, then then that's success. So I guess in a way it's not really around amyloid PET itself, but it's more around how that is implemented in um in in the clinical work, so I guess at the technical level, there are questions and there, there are new tracers that are being developed as well in amyloid that are more sensitive that um, where you can potentially um, in a more accurate way, look at dynamic head, which is um, an analysis technique that people use, where basically in PET you acquire data over, let's say, a 30 minute period. And what you would typically do is then just, and you collect like what, what we call frames, so different mm-hmm. images over time. Um, and what you would normally do is you just average those images to get the best signal to noise ratio and then look at that static image for interpretation. But what you can also do is you can look at how the tracer dynamically uptake or takes, takes up over time, um, which, which tells you, you know, things about perfusion in the brain and so on. And that's an area of active research, um, for, for amyloid PET. But it's more of a, I guess, a site, site application in a way, because the main application of amyloid PET, I think, is, is quite well established and solved. 